Next matchup. The match that decides who will join Matt. I mean, who will join Darid, sorry. Who will join Darid in the second part of the tournament. Darid's already won, so whoever wins this match will take second place. Second place in Group C. Both have one win so far. They're going against each other to figure out who takes that spot in the final eight. Matt with the with his legendaries against the randomly selected team of GameScorp. Let's fight. Hyper Trainer Matt, full fledged man game score. Take one look at their Pokemon before we officially get underway. Clock, Silver, Twilight, Rainbow, Splash, and ET. Against Haunter, Red Man, Spiritum, Peace Bug, Ditto, and Obama Snow to end it off. Haunter, Red Menace, waste his legendaries, says Scorpio here in the live chat on Twitch. Let's see what happens. Giant Pokemon sure do make this color seem look tiny. <laughs> I knew he'd say that. He always does when there's some really big Pokemon out there. I said it a bit boring. I, I, I regret that, but sorry about that. Oh yeah, I forgot to click the timer again. At least this time I'm not a minute behind. I was like, is it 15 seconds behind? Hunter uses Rain Dance! Everyone takes a shower. And in that shower, a clock uses Smog. Doesn't work on steals. I was gonna say, what animation is that? But then the message popped up and I knew. And that actually can affect both opponents because there's no ghosts. Not on the opposing side for, for it anyway. Yep. That's the move. Thing is, Diago resisted and Luke is still pretty defensive, but it's a move and it increases their defenses. Uh, I mean, Scissor's defense. Speaking of increasing defenses, defense and special defense of Lugia are increased. Turn to explosion! But Hunter doesn't have that great physical attack! It so from that super big explosion or self-destruct at the end of Alka's match, and we've seen some really big ones, like they even ha effectively half the opponent's defenses upon damage calculation in this game still, but two, re two resists, Haunter with not great physical attack. Though I'd love to see my Pokemon use Ice Spell. Oh, it was self-destruct? Okay, I thought it was Explosion. Bit less damage, but Explosion wouldn't have done that much more. Would have added another quarter of what it showed. Yeah, Ice Ball would be really nice, especially if you if the first target is Lugia with it, that being super effective. Alright, 6-5 lead for Matt. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. What kind of developments can we expect to see next? Sliced apart, taken down. We've heard of that last match as well, or like two matches ago, with two big moves that barely did damage. Due to resist oh, Parasong! At least this isn't at the end of the fight, but... Assuming no KOs happen before Parasong runs out... It'll be 4-3. to three. 
Which maybe isn't that bad for game score. Because one could argue that Dialga and Lugi have a better chance at Scissor and Spirit Tomb. Then again, Game Scrub would have preferred probably things like Let It By and Ditto, which are out after these two, to be taken out by the Parasong. Because Spirit Tomb and Scissor can do more, but they'll just have to work with it. But we've seen, I think, it was Roar that saved Alka's Roselia back in Alka's match in round three. Maybe. A Pokemon will be saved by Roar, Whirlwind, or U-Turn here. That's three out of so many moves that exist that can be called. And that's going to be a big move that might actually cause a KO to bring something else out that can get damaged while the rest is still under Parasong. Hydro Cannon, big hit! But unless there's a KO, it doesn't matter, but Sky Attack might hit it next turn. Lick. Might paralyze, which probably would be good. Um, the spirit tomb is going to go down in two turns anyway due to the parasol, unless it's switched out. But let's assume it, it's taken out. Game score would still want spirit tomb to at least survive the next turn, so to not get it by the sky attack, for example, because that would mean well, if it is taken out the next turn, then. While the others are on their final turn to Parish Song, whatever they send out next, which I want to say is Lediba, has a chance to get damaged before the rest, before the other Pokemon that are about to be sent in uh, will be. So that would be a slight advantage then for Matt. And Matt already has the advantage with the lead in Pokemon. Like, this would be a nice way to do things for, uh, for Gamescorp if it wasn't for Parish Song being active. Lugia does hit with the sky attack and does hit the spirit tomb which means that then Gamescorp's next Pokemon has a chance to be hit. Then again, chances are there, chances but chances, that Gamescorp will have their next Pokemon actually set up a move like Dragon Dance or Iron Defense to boost what they can do. But chances are quite high that they will get hit even just a small bit, and that's worse than it being at full health when they come in. Peace Bug comes in peace, it's just going to see all three other Pokemon faint at the end of the turn. Even if Peace Bug doesn't do anything. What should be pacifist and just like Dragon Dance, just dance? Sees the others going out. Snaps out of confusion early again for Silver. Tail Whip on Scizor, so as long as it's not on Lediba, it is also on Lediba because it's both Pokemon, so no damage on Lediba so far, but that defense drop can matter in the end. But probably Game Screw will be happy it's just a Tail Whip and nothing else. But Lediba, with its pretty failed defenses, could still, with now one physical move, get damaged. Magma Storm looks nice from Scizor, but Lugia was going to go down this turn anyway. Let's see what Peace Bug does. Dragon Dance, set yourself up. Nope, try attack. Just wants to show off what it can do. Just hit hit a legendary. Feeling of honor. Parish count hits zero. Lugia is down. Dialga and then Scizor will go down as well, which will still mean Matt leads, but this time it's not 6-5, it is 4-3, with a Lediba that is already out on Gaming Scorp Steam with the defense drop. Paris, uh, between... Um, the group stages that we're in now and the top eight, so the single elimination part of this tournament, not much will change. There's a few changes. We've already decided the finals will be best two out of three. I'm still debating on whether to make the bronze match the same as well. But a few rules, like a few small rules, which has a low chance of um, applying, will change. There'll still not be sleep claws like sleep powder plus four, dark void things. Can't happen. But Destiny Bond and Parasong will fail in single elimination.
when used by the final Pokemon. Although I'm gonna guess that's the final two Pokemon in doubles. Or maybe Decimon only is the final, we'll see. And the user of self-destruct or explosion, if that KOs if that would create a tie, would make the user of self-destruct or explosion lose. And I think if someone I'm not sure how that applies to struggle. If it would be like struggle or full tackle with recoil. <laughs> we've seen lovely kiss quite a lot. Actually, no, we've seen sweet kiss, not lovely kiss, because lovely kiss puts you to sleep. Gaming Scorp in the um, Twitch chat. Okay, team, do not use normal or fighting moves on Garantina. Well, Ditto's probably not going to use anything because it's asleep. And Peace Bug. Hyper Beam! And it's not on the ghost! Still doesn't hit the ho of that heart, though, because ho is ho, and Ledeba is. is, is Ledeba. <laughs> And now led about with its defense drop has to skip a turn. And Ditto is asleep. Ditto could wake up this turn, but... Not that likely, but we've seen so many early wake-ups. Refresh. Doesn't work for Giratina. Oh-oh. So much damage, yeah. Oh, stab Brave Bird. Ditto's dead. Ditto doesn't even fade. Ditto's dead. That's 4-2. to two, Matt leading. And uh, remember how the previous match was the quickest one so far? Well, if Matt keeps this up, just let him out of Bomba Snow left. Like I said, the, the previous match was approximately 15 minutes, and I don't remember the exact length. This match, thanks to Parish Song and some, and some big hits from Matt's side, could be another really short one. Could be the first one in 15 minutes if the last one wasn't already. Powder Snow. Hits both. Super effective on Peace Bug. And Hail will damage Peace Now the Hail does cost some extra time. Ooh, Peace Bug's freezing, frozen solid. I think it got ribbed in half. Hey, Darren. Darren, were you here for the previous match? I just, I just saw your first chat message. But were you here for the previous match that you were in? Did you uh, get at least get the result of that? Okay. Well, congratulations now uh, again to you for winning the group. And because you've won the group, you know you'll be facing the second person, uh, well, the second place person from Group D, which will be decided later on in the stream. Uh, Hale does take some time, but let about not doing a, using Metronome and using a move does save some time as well. Metronome. Aku pressure. On ho oh. Random stat increase by two stages, and it's the speed. So ho is now easily the fastest Pokemon on the field. Barrage. Looks really weird that he doesn't even respond, but even with the defense rope, that doesn't take out the Lediba. Anyway, he just wants something to take out the Lediba. Here comes Eruption from the Bomb Snow, who usually is actually super weak to it. Quite a lot of power, but Ho and Giratina both resist it. Beast Bug stays frozen solid, and the hail continues to fall. And our timer with the added time from the beginning, just over 12 minutes since the start of the match. Just under three minutes remaining. So two, maybe three turns. To finish this for Matt's for a record. Otherwise it'll stay Darid. For the two quickest wins. Here comes Blaze Kick on Ledibus. Ledibus not even going to get a turn. Hill won't hit Ledibus, so that saves time. 4-1 lead for Matt's. Game Scorp, it's not looking good for you. It was Game Scorp and Claudia both in this group, in Group C, that won the two exhibition matches. But it looks like both of them at this point, won't be making it through to the next round. Claudia already knocked out. A bomb is now using Shadow Sneak, super effectively hitting Giratina. Doing what it can, but... With the Suicune and Defense Deoxys still on the back. Not looking likely, but it's a metronome battle. 
You never know what could happen. Let's see. Oh, oh, it's double speed. Let's see what it does. Psi wave between half and 1.5 times the oh, whole level as damage. I believe that's how it works. It's like an unreliable seismic toss. Flamethrower, that's it. That's it. Matt wins 4-0. Another three out of six matches so far. Half of the matches have been four nil victories. And pause the timer. We're gonna add approximately 15 minutes. A check during editing what it'll have ended up as. I'm gonna call it a 14:07. It might have a bit more, a bit less, but it is. Over one and a half minutes faster than the previously fastest match. This is under 15 minutes. Matt beating GameScorp. At least your team didn't hit your team with normal fighting moves, so they did listen. In that sense, they did, yes. Now let's enter that score. 4 0 victory. Matt v. GameScorp. Which means Darren wins the group at three wins and Matt with two wins. Second place. GameScorp does end up taking third place in the group. And Claudia, unfortunately, the first player that lost all three matches. Claudia, last place. Fourth place in the group C. The longest Derrid v. Matt. Matt v. Derrid was around 42 minutes. Yeah, so I think that's the only one that went over 40. Actually, there's two matches that I don't have the time for at all. Because I was very late with switching on the timer, even remembering it was on. Which is Misty vs. Chobin, but based on it being a 3 0 victory. I'm not sure how long that was. That was round 2. And also round 2, Alka vs. Van Grants. I don't have the time written down. All others, if I don't have the exact time, I have the approximate time by adding or subtracting some seconds if I was early or late. Right, let me just switch on the lights in the background and then we're gonna start with Group D.